Azam. Let's go. He's going through. Absolutely. So, super strong. And how old is he? 76 years of age. Going through a matrix attack like we've never seen. Imaginary man's lived his entire life without ever committing any crimes. And now suddenly there's indictments. What is it? I said we have no idea what this is, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, Pepsi Man sent in a donation. Yeah. So, you know. Charges coming out of nowhere. He's trying to run for president at the same time. He, I guarantee, is stressed. Does he want to be happy or does he want to be great? Because he's got billions of dollars. He could just drop out of the presidential race, go move to St. Kitts, oh, yeah. live in a big mansion. He can go to the beach. Some... Yeah, easy. He can go be happy. He can get a little cocktail. A little... Oh, shit. I'm sorry. You didn't see this. Oh, the tape. Yeah, sorry. Instagram, Instagram is really slow. Um, no, no, no. I didn't share it with you. Let's repeat it. Oh, you were playing it the whole time. Yeah. I was like, why the fuck is he singing? And I, okay, no. Yeah, bro. I'm sitting here in silence. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay, sorry. So, super strong. And how old is he? 76 years of age. Going through a matrix attack like we've never seen. Imaginary man's lived his entire life without ever committing any crimes. And now suddenly there's indictments and charges coming out of nowhere. He's trying to run for right. president at the same How do you convince people not to commit crimes under those circumstances? I'm just saying. He don't commit no crimes, and he's still... <laughs> Trump. I'm just saying in general. Mm. If, if, you're, if your reasoning for not committing crimes is not going to... Then why would you not commit... Why would you not commit them if even if you're a perfect man, it doesn't matter. They can still come get you if they want. Yeah. Same time, he, I, I guarantee... I anything. Yeah. Everybody follow the law, for real, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Is stressed. Does he want to be happy or does he want to be great? Because he's got billions of dollars. He could just drop out of the presidential race, go and move to St. Kitts, oh, live yeah. in a big mansion. He can go to the beach. Some, yeah, easy. He can go be happy. He can get a little cocktail, a little umbrella. But he doesn't because that's not the way Donald Trump is wired. He is a champion and he's a fighter and he is dealing with the stress to become the world's most powerful man once again. He would have never gotten to where he is if he was the kind of person who was concerned about being happy. Ever. He didn't care about being happy. Being happy is for children and women. He wanted to be great. And that requires stress in the first place. That's the exact point. So forget about this garbage of I want to be happy. I don't feel happy. Happiness. I get these messages all the time. How do I feel happy as a man? You're not supposed to be happy. You're supposed to be monumentally influential and capable. Fact. Uh, I, I agree with the first half, not the second half. Okay, so you don't agree with the happiness? No. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Let's see, but we already had this deep conversation, though. You know what I mean? About what I perceive to be the purpose but, of life, right? Yeah. Let's to see, be... is, is, a, is the purpose of me taking a trip from California to Florida, back to California to get the job done? Or is it the journey and the enjoyment of it? You know what I mean? Fuck all that. Are you, like, like, I, I, know, I know for a fact, right? Like I said, here's a perfect analogy. I know for a fact, right? If it's not about being happy, right? Let's say it's not. All right, fine. Would Andrew Tate tr like tra trade getting everything he wants in life for now having a terminal illness where he's going to be severely sick and live the rest of his life in pain and then just pass away, not be, able, not be able to enjoy one second of his life? Why would anybody choose that? Nobody in their right mind would choose that, right? You want what you want in the context of that is going to really bring you joy at the end of the day. But I do agree with, with what he's saying about Trump, though. You know what I mean? I do, like, because... If if they're not all shields, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, if, I don't know if if but, they're not all working for the same team, and he's just right he's not saying that. Then I agree. Like this but, man, like it's 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 the type of stuff that makes you want to start doing stuff to people. Because like, if I'm doing the right thing and I still get in trouble, then why not do the wrong thing? <laughs> what's your yeah. what's your other alternative? Yeah. But uh, I think what Andrew Tate, Tate is talking about is instead of going for these. Uh, small temporary highs that we call happiness you should aim for becoming somebody that will be influencing the world and leaving a a big ass mark in the world you know that that gives your soul happiness do you know what i mean like your soul is happy with that like yeah what you said doesn't make any sense to me. but if you if you think because about you should not go for happiness you should do this because it'll make you happy. No, 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 no. But but it's as happy. It's a happy on a different uh, level. How do you know? Well, I do exactly. know. Exactly. I do You're know in this way. No, no, no. My soul 
might be happy. <laughs> it's not my, me physically, but my soul will be happy. That's, that's insanity. All right. So, why? Other than okay, okay, is, uh, we already know that. Okay, let me put it this way. Somebody want to have a legacy. First let me put. Let why me put, should someone want to have a legacy? What's the purpose of that? I guess it's a deeper thing. You know, it's beyond is your. It? Yeah. Okay, if I put it to you this way, would you want to become somebody that they make a statue of? Or do I'm, you I'm just... I'm asking why. Why Why should I want to become somebody that has a statue? What's the purpose? So we because... get down one day? Like, for who? No, but that means you... You, you, um, you uh, went through this life to the maximum, probably, that they made a statue out of you. Okay, so but what, what benefit is that? Like for example, okay, Freddie Mercury got a statue. Okay, great. But now, what's the what's the point? That that why, to me. Why should? But I'm asking you, in real terms, like a child can understand it. Well, why should okay. somebody want to do that? I guess uh, it kind of makes you immortal. You know, in a sense, you are now sealed but in if his. You're, if you're gone, then what would that even matter to you? It kind of matters still in a to weird who, way. Who does it matter to? To your imaginary self. That so is... What, so basically being. what you're saying is you will feel better as you go out if that legacy is there. Yeah. You'll be happier. That's it. Uh, I guess. So So it's about yeah. happier in... in it it's about happiness. Happiness, but not really amounting to anything or... Happiness. What does amounting to anything mean? You want all that stuff to amount to your happiness. So it's like it's like you're losing the plot if you're saying that happiness got to amount to something. No, no. Because I just asked you, what's the purpose of doing all that? So I could ultimately be happy. So it's like don't don't trick people out of out of their joy. You know what I mean? Because because that, that's like that's like telling that's the feminist thing. Well, oh, you want to be free, so don't have kids. Well, I guess what what same thing. Well, I guess what Andrew is saying is, if you're just going out and partying, partying, and and uh, really not achieving what you should be achieving, but if, maybe if that's what makes somebody happy, and achieving something makes them miserable. Why should they want to achieve something that makes them miserable? Because they want to sacrifice that for the happiness of the soul. <laughs> that's like that's so you're you're a Christian then, basically. I believe in the soul. Yeah. Yeah, all right. So go join Christianity. No, they believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sacrifice your life so you can get some imaginary heaven. I don't believe in imaginary heavens outside. Well, what if this, this, uh, you know, virtual reality? What if we're in heaven and you guys are ruining it? Yeah, <laughs> right. maybe, maybe. Yeah, right. But what if we're in heaven trying to have a good time and you guys are ruining it with your fucking stress? It's not Jesus stress, Christ! Though. Why would there be this much pussy just being thrown around? Okay, let me say this though. <laughs> Can we agree though that the worst uh, the worst thing is to die not be on your deathbed and to have regrets, right? That's what people say, yes. No, but think about it yourself. If you're on your deathbed right now, would you have would you want to have little doubt or let I don't plan on being on a deathbed, okay? <laughs> Dude, if I'm about to die, I'm finna be on straight heroin. Like, why would you not do that? I'm saying that doesn't make any sense. You're about all to right. die anyways. All right. Take all the drugs. Like, all experience right. all that shit. I'm gonna be on 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 DMT and LSD and all that shit all the way out. I'm I only got well shit. Well, fuck it. Give me all of it then. At the same time. Okay, hold yeah. on, hold on. I'm Pepsi man. Bang. Pepsi man said uh, he achieved everything in life. He's trying to engrave his name in history. He wants to be remembered. His last name lives on forever. Vince doesn't translate it good, Ross. <laughs> yeah, but but I get that. But I'm saying that the, the only purpose of that, though, is because you'll feel better. And you know who else? Maybe your kids will feel better, right? That's all it's about. It's just about the happiness. You want to feel better about your name, and then you want your kids to be proud of your name. Okay, but if if you leave such a big mark in this realm, even after you're dead... So that it it inspires you, you might end up no no no. no 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 being accused of touching some kids or something. No, hold on, hold on. So it inspires others in some way, then that will bring them happiness and that will make your you happy even though you're gone. That you know that others 
get inspired by your mark in this world and that brings more happiness to the world right okay sure but at the end of the day it's just happiness all right yeah so, yeah it is happiness agree no no but that's why i said it because he's like oh, go don't be happy no 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 chill 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 because working hard makes me happy go figure right no it's like i i do the things that i love to do you know what i mean and i as a man i feel good and happy when i'm working i'm not saying don't work or i'm not but people who take excessive drugs aren't happy that's not the same thing yeah you know, i'm saying that that you're not supposed to shy away from happiness doing miserable stuff it's what makes people miserable and start taking drugs because they're at work stressed out all day and they end up shooting everybody well i guess you guys mean probably the same thing it's just that he said know. he says it in a different way he says it like a shill pepsi man says what's your interpretation ross before we wrap it I don't know what he's talking about specifically, but I just mean that we cannot lose the plot of what we're doing here, right? Like there's an analogy, uh, uh, you know, a man was walking through a garden and they gave him a, a, a egg on a spoon. And they said, don't drop the egg. So he walked through the garden and he didn't drop the egg. And, they, and then they said, did you see the flowers? And he's like, no, I was focused on the egg. He's like, oh, well, next time see the flowers, right? Next time he looked at the flowers, he dropped the egg. Moral of the story. You need to see that you need to see the flowers and keep the balance on the egg. All right. You don't sacrifice your life, your body, your health for money. You understand? For fucking for what? For what? For to what? To take a trip to see some bullshit ass structure in fucking France in Italy? Let me sacrifice my whole life and my body and be stressed out and get and get, excuse me, get get diseases, which aren't real. Let me get diseases and and, and this and because of stress, because I think I need to fucking do what the fuck they're doing. That's stupid as fuck. Fuck that shit. Don't let these dumbass motherfuckers convince you that you got to do what the fuck they're doing and stop enjoying your fucking life. Fuck that shit. Enjoy your fucking life. I'm not saying don't work. I'm yeah. going to do what the fuck that makes you happy. You know what makes me fucking happy? Being with, with, with you know, with, with women, right? Smoking weed and, and you know, doing this. Yeah, for real. I, li I like doing this. This is what makes me happy. Yeah. I don't like traveling and being in other people's space. I like being that fucking. I home. agree. All right. So guess what? Nobody's gonna convince me that if I don't go to fucking Italy, that my life ain't happier. Fuck them. <laughs> and Thank you know what? That's my interpretation. And you know what? When you go on those vacations, they always somewhat disappoint. You know, it's fun for a day maybe, and then you're like, "Fuck, I'm stuck here for two weeks. Fuck, man, I'm gonna go home." Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like I tried it. I had to work hard when I was a kid. I'm 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 like a, a 89 year old man in my mindset. All right? <laughs> I want to be at home relaxing, watching yeah. my fucking stories. Yeah, that's serious. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. what I mean. I'm like, look, do what you do what you do, but you have to be happy. This is why there is that weird uptick in that. Oh yeah, people that drink a little bit live longer. It's not because alcohol heals your body. No, it's because they're less stressed out, so they're less prone to getting this ease in their body. All right, stop yeah. being stressed. Yeah. I don't believe in none of that, for real. I don't believe that you achieve through stress. I believe you achieve through focus. Extreme, definite focus and hard work, yes. Stress, no. All right. My, Good stuff. That's my interpretation. I agree. I agree. Buzz zap. And also, if you want any want us to react to something or discuss something, put it in the comment section. Buzz zap.